Hello, and welcome to Lightstream TV, the first online cable company providing unlimited live television network viewing. Today, we're going to show you how our services work, what requirements you must have in order to use our services, and how to sign up. Once you've downloaded our application and logged into the Lightstream application, you are going to be presented with the screen that you see in front of you, which is our home screen. Um, the first thing that you will want to do when you first come to the screen is going to the settings wheel, which is in the top left corner. Click OK. And you want to change your time format. Initially, when you log into this for the first time, it's going to be set at the 24 hours format, which is military time. If you want standard time, you just change it to the 12 hours format and hit save changes. The other thing in this screen is your parental control. When you choose the parental control, you're going to be given the option to create a password. With that password, you're going to be able to put locks on any categories that you do not want your children viewing or if you don't want to see yourself, such as the adult section. Uh, that's probably, probably the main category that most people would use a lot for because they don't want their kids viewing adult content. Okay, so to get back out of the screen, we're going to hit the return button. And uh, once again, we're back here at the home screen. So just to kind of go over some of the stuff that we have here, uh, we have series. This is like an on-demand function um, where you can watch series of any of the shows that you're interested in watching and we're going to click in that so we can just kind of take a view um, as you can see there's two main categories it's Spanish TV shows and English TV shows uh, then you also have a favorites so if you find something that you're interested in watching you can save it to your favorites list instead of scrolling through all of the categories or all of the shows. So let's just go into it so that we can see what it looks like. I'm just clicking OK. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff here, guys. So let's just say we wanted to watch the originals. We click on that. And as you can see, it tells us a little bit about the show. Uh, we can choose episodes, we can choose seasons, and we can also add it to favorites if we choose to. All right, very easy to work, guys. Go into seasons, and then we go and we have seasons uh, one through five, including specials. So, if we wanted to look at season five, for example, we can go there and let's just start number one. one. And I'm not going to play the entire show, as you can see, there it is. And as you can see, you'll notice the subtitles are in Spanish. Not all shows are like that, but there are a lot of shows that will have Spanish subtitles, but it does play in English, okay? So, okay, so let me back out of this. Just hitting the return button. All right, I'm going to hit it again. One more time. All right, so we also have a movies category. The movies is set up exactly how the series, except for its movies. Uh, it's an on-demand feature again. Uh, we'll click on it and just kind of go into it. And again, you have a favorites list. Uh, you got a lot of different categories of how it's broken down, full HD dual movies, English movies, HD, documentaries, Latin, so on and so forth. So if I go here into English Movies HD, got a lot of different movies here. So let's say if I want to search for something in this magnifying glass, you have to be inside one of these categories in order to search. So I'm inside the English Movies HD, so I can hit my magnifying glass. And let's say I'm looking for, um, let's just say Spider-Man. And what it try to it'll try to do is um, a predictive search, trying to figure out what you, what you're typing in. And w once I can see it down there, I can hit my back button to get rid of the keyboard on the screen. And there we go. So we got all the Spider-Man right here that we can watch. 
So if I wanted to watch uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, again, same way uh, the series is set up, I'll have the option to play. I can add it to favorites or I can go back. All right. So in this case, I'm just going to hit the back button. Okay, you can go back, go back. And guys, as you can see, there are literally literally thousands of movies here. So you can you have a lot of stuff to view. All right, and here we go in our live category. Uh, this is the main reason why so many people are signing up because they love live television, all right? Uh, but before I go into that, let me kind of just talk about these other little categories at the bottom here. Uh, the EPG stands for Electronic Program Guide. Um, if you click on this, it'll give you the live television. The only difference is with clicking on this, it'll give you the guide. Like, for example, if you ever had cable and you hit the guide button or satellite and hit the guide button and it brings up um, all the shows that's coming on, it'll bring it up in that format if you use that. Okay. Um, next one right next to it is recordings, um, which is a decent feature if you like to record shows. Um, but you are limited to the amount of space that is on your device. So, for example, if you're using a Fire Stick and you try to record, uh, let's just say, an hour television show in high definition, it may take up all of your hard drive space just to record that one show. So, if you're someone that wants to record, I would suggest getting what's called an Amazon Recast. That'll give you plenty of recording space so that you can record as much as you want all right and the next one is our catch-up category the catch-up category is just basically uh, letting you catch up on shows that you might have missed okay I'm not going to go into that um, but and it also kind of sticks with the uh, most viewed shows that you watch so that's what that uh, shows all right so I'm going to go right here into the live TV category here and again, guys, this is one of the most popular categories that we have here. Um, there are a lot of things to choose from. And this list kind of goes down a bit further. And I'm not going to go all the way down the list. Um, we have all kinds of sports, NBA sports, um, basketball, uh, football, baseball, all kinds of sports, ESPN, um, a lot of different things here. All right, guys. So. What I'm going to do here is click on the U.S. channels just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And as you can see, channel one, A&E, USA, A&E. As you can see, this is live television, guys. And if you notice, channel two is also U.S. A&E, but it's HD. So if you want to watch the high definition version of it, you can choose that. All right. And I'm just going to kind of go down here a little bit. Um, underneath the picture itself, uh, you have another little mini guide. Um, you can't go to this mini guide. It just kind of shows you what's coming on next. And um, I shouldn't say next, but the next few shows that's coming on this particular channel. All right. So, uh, guys, there are so many channels here. One of the things that I always suggest to anyone when you first start out with this is create a favorites list. Um, as you can see, you can see some of the stars. Those sh those particular networks I've already created uh, are on my favorites list. So, for I'm going to show you one for Channel 9, which is the Animal Planet HD. So, the way you would do that, simply with your Android device or your Fire Stick, Hold down your enter button and you'll get this little menu right here. And you can click add to favorites. And this will also give you the capability of recording if you choose to record. But again, guys, beware of recording because you're only as limited as your space on your device. Okay. So just to show you, I'm going to add this to my favorites. And as you can see, it just told me that it's added it to my favorites and it puts a star next to it. Now, if I don't want this on in my favorites, all I got to do is simply hold the OK or Enter button down again and go down to where it says Remove from Favorite. And there it go. Just notified me and the star is gone. Okay.
All right, so I'm gonna click back here. All right, um, guys, there's so many things here. Like I said, you got pay-per-view events, you got music channels, kids channels, sports channels. Um, one of my favorites is the Entertainment ENG, which is English. I want to click on that. Now, guys, this is where you would find all of your premium channels like your Cinemax, Showtime, HBO, Stars, all that good stuff is here. And I'm just going to kind of scroll through it just a little bit. And again, guys, this is 100% live television. And if I want to, let's say I wanted to watch Barry, all right? Um, all I got to do is simply click OK again to make it a full screen. All right. And I've I've intentionally turned down the sound so that you can't um, hear it. So let me back out of that. And the way I just did that was to simply hit my return button. Back out of it again. And there we go. All right, and guys, we have a lot of news channels here. Most of the news channels are in the tri-state area, uh, which is New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. Uh, but we do have some Charlotte channels, some California channels, um, and we're adding more every day. So if you don't see the channels that you like as far as news, uh, just be patient with us. Um, but if you feel like you really need to have it, one of the things that you can do is actually just download the app from that particular channel network and state. All right. So, guys, that is pretty much it as far as that goes. Um, so, what are the requirements you must have to use our services? Well, our services support two types of devices. That is any type of Amazon Fire TV, Fire Stick device, or any type of Android device, Android box, or Android tablet. Uh, you can download this on. Uh, it does not support Roku. It does not support Apple TV. It has to be Android device or Fire Stick type of device. All right. Um, the other thing, uh, how do you sign up? Well, if you want to sign up, what we like to do is offer people a free trial. The little box that's over to your right, you simply want to just put in your name and your email. And we'll send you an email with a temporary username and password. And we'll also send you a link of, um, of the video of how to install the service app onto your device. Okay, whether you have a Fire Stick or whether you have an Android device. We'll show you how to do that. All right. Um, if you decide that you want to keep the services afterwards, it's $29 a month, guys. $29 a month and this is our starter price um, in about three months that price will definitely be going up um, but it will still be a fair price whatever that may go up to uh, one other thing that I want to point out to you guys if you notice in the bottom left corner you see that expiration date that's the date when it expires uh, so in order for you to continue your services you must pay on that date or maybe the day before in order to continue your services without interruption all right so again if you're interested in just trying the free trial no credit card needed simply fill out the form below if you have any questions please email us at info at lightstreamtv.com thank you and have a good day